Recognize this famous play in NBA history. It's left in the third quarter. Curry substituted for Chris Kamen, which marked Curry's first ever appearance in an NBA regular season game. Probably not. That video was 10 seconds long, but it captured the full career highlights of a Curry. No, not Del Curry, who played 23,000 minutes in the NBA, and not his kids, Steph and Seth, who have combined for over 30,000 minutes. This is James on Curry, not a descendant of the supremely gifted House Curry. Neither is he remotely connected to LeBron James, like, at all. Imagine being a kid with dreams of playing in the NBA, but the dream lasted 3.9 seconds. That's quite literally the opposite of LeBron James, whose dream has manifested for decades. It's also not an alias for LeBron guarding Steph, despite the weird capitalization of the O in his name. So just who is James on Curry if he's not a mutant hybrid of the Akron Hammer or the Babyface Assassin? Wouldn't that be Le Curry? Maybe Steph Ron Jerry? Doesn't matter. I'm Frank Smith and this is the story of James on Curry, the world record holder for the shortest NBA career ever. Early on, James Owen was recognized as one of the best high school talents in the country. He averaged 40 points, 7 boards, and 6 assists a night in his senior season. He even set a school record for points with 3,307, which was later broken by Kobe White. James Owen seemed destined for greatness. If we told you blindly that some kid was already considered a top high school prospect, was averaging 47 and 6, you'd be ready for your favorite NBA franchise to draft him, ASAP. He would seem great, right? Of course he does. However, there are plenty of high school phenoms who don't exactly pan out. Curry was set to go down the road and play for Chapel Hill, but he ran into some legal issues along the way. He was charged with two counts of possession to sell and distribute marijuana. He couldn't stay off the weed! UNC would rescind their scholarship offer and James Ott would go on to Oklahoma State to continue his basketball career, carving out a nice freshman year. He started 15 of the 33 games, averaged 9 points and 3 assists, but he amped his points up to 14 during March Madness. After two more successful seasons at OK State, highlighted by a 40 point outburst against Baylor, Curry decided to forego his senior season and enter the NBA draft. Now Curry was a pretty good college player, but many questioned his decision to go pro. Scouts had reservations about his physical attributes. 6'3", 190 pounds, and several others popped up immediately. Sound familiar? There were so many fans who Unfortunately, James Ott didn't possess the type of talent that Steph has, but realistically, no one does. Curry was selected 51st overall by the Bulls back in 07 and went on to sign his contract on August 2nd. Sadly, he didn't log a single regular season second for the Bulls that year, spending all of his time in the D-League. He was waived in the summer of 08. Once again though, Curry was signed to a D-League team. This time, he played well enough with the Springfield armor to catch the Clippers' attention. On January 25th, 2010, Curry's dream of NBA action came true. He jogged to the scorer's table, relinquished his warm-up gear, waited for the buzzer, and subbed in with 3.9 seconds left in the third quarter versus Celtics. On the famed TD Garden floor, Curry was matched up with Rajon Rondo. Rondo never touches the ball, and Curry stayed dutifully glued to his hip. The final buzzer sounded, and no one knew it at the time, but James on Curry's NBA career was over. It may not have been as long as he wanted it to be, but the man got to fulfill a lifelong dream that millions of people are never able to accomplish. So sure, he barely played in the NBA, but he did play in the top league in the world. Very few people, regardless of their profession, can say they spent any time with the top company during their careers. A cup of coffee in the NBA or not, James on Curry had his moment. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Frank Smith. Follow Clutch Points at Clutch Points. If you enjoyed it, you can find many more on our Facebook, YouTube, and IGTV. Thanks. Until next time.